What's going on guys? Connor owns fast food here back with a brand new video. Today we are unboxing a mystery box from my homie over at flavors.atl. So basically Atlanta, Georgia. I'm pretty sure that's where he lives. My homie Montreal always hooks it up. He sells me these boxes once in a while. I know that he sells on Instagram, eBay, but sometimes you just gotta pay the bills and you gotta unload a bunch of stuff and that's when people hit up Connor owns fast food. I am very sick right now, so I didn't go thrifting or to the flea market. I actually did film another video today, so if you're wondering why I'm still wearing the same shirt, it's not because I'm just sick. I probably will wear the same shirt tomorrow, honestly, but you guys will see tomorrow's video, which is gonna be like a Q&A mukbang eating video. And then today's video, you guys will be seeing me unbox this giant box of vintage. I know a couple of items that are gonna be in the box. Make sure you guys go show some love to flavors.atl on Instagram. Go hit him up. He will definitely sell you guys big boxes full of stuff. He's honestly like such a nice dude. He's easy to work with and easy to talk to and he's very negotiable. So I'm gonna grab my scissors. I forgot to grab them. They're on the other side of my coffee table. So somehow I'm gonna have to move this big box. Ugh! Ugh. This thing probably weighs about 30, 40 pounds from Florida to Georgia is probably only like 35, 40 bucks, which I appreciate you because this box was $250 shipped and I know there's a lot of goodies in here and I can't wait to show you guys. And make sure you guys go follow him on Instagram, hit him up and go purchase some stuff from him. I probably could have just punched it open because this box doesn't seem very secured. Ugh. Ah! Use that fast food strength. Let me just move this camera over here a little bit so you guys don't have the entire Connor crotch shot. My dad is probably one of the best dads in the entire world. I've tried multiple times. I know you guys will not probably lose a little respect, but I don't pay any rent. Uh, I try to give him money to pay rent, but instead he's just like, just do chores, make sure the house looks nice. And honestly, if you guys could see around me, it, it doesn't look very nice, but I did clean up a little bit recently. I'm saying like mow the lawn, clean the kitchen, vacuum. One of the main reasons why I want to move out and he doesn't really understand it. He's like, he's like, oh, I don't have a problem with you living here. But the reason why I want to live in my own house is I want to be able to take care of my own bills. I want to be able to take care of myself. I think it's better for my health. I know right now I'm sick, so I can't talk about my health, but I think it's just better mentally for me to get my own house. Oh man, I knew he was going to do, wait, he didn't do it. I thought he was going to put stuff inside the backpack. We have this spray ground Patrick Ewing backpack and he says it has flaws. I know when I looked up pictures online, it's supposed to be like attachable wings on the side, but obviously that's maybe probably the flaws and the bottom's pretty worn. This, I didn't even like factor into the price. I think he showed me pictures of this. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. Look at this, like he even threw in some vintage Tommy Hilfiger slides. Oh my God, these things are so sick. They are size eight. M. So either that's for women's or men, like eight men's. But sometimes M in like numbers on shoes, I've realized is like actual sizes. This whole entire box is really uncomfortable. I need to move it. Like these are kind of like cheaply made, but just like the big flag and the colorway and style, like the double straps is so sick. So first shoe we have are these Nike SB Poisons and they look like they're probably like an eight. Nope, these are size 10. They have a little bit of separation, which I'll mention in the description on the eBay. So maybe like $30 for these. Oh, I'm gonna have to like blow my nose every once in a while. I hate being sick. We have this Tommy Hilfiger shirt. It looks pretty blank. Oh, okay, it just has the, it's a basic Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Made in USA, size large. It has like a little spell out right there. And this is like torn a little bit on the bottom. Like there's a little patch. This I'll probably just keep and wear it to like the flea market. We have the Masters <laughs> Collection polo shirt. And this one actually has a pretty cool design. I'll hit up my friend AJ, see if he wants it for a good deal. But if not, I'll throw it up on eBay for about 20 to $25. These ones are most definitely real. They're size 12 and they are the Fire Red 3s. Other than the paint chipping, they're in very good condition. A little bit of star loss on the bottoms. I would expect to get about a hundred bucks for these There's like no major scuffs on the toe box. So probably about a hundred bucks on this pair I'm Just gonna keep grabbing some stuff out of this box because it's kind of tilted over We got some camo pants and the brand on these is Cabela's Gore-Tex. Ooh, those are pretty cool. And these are size medium. The only reason why I remember Cabela's is because I was big into video games, so they always had Cabela's hunting. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. But camo pants, Gore-Tex. I could expect maybe like $30. I know Gore-Tex is pretty expensive. <coughs> 
I really shouldn't be doing this video, but I'm doing it for you guys. So make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. There's so much stuff left in this box. We have this Nike Texas A&M hat. It's pretty beat up. Again, I don't remember him showing me this in the pictures. I'm pretty sure he just sends me like 20 pictures of stuff and then he just fills the rest up with a bunch of fire. Next we have some polo Ralph Lauren jeans and they got like the spell out on the butt. I think there's two pairs of these in there. So I was gonna sell those as a bundle and they're very light. Oh yeah, I remember this from the pictures. We got the polo Ralph Lauren. Looks like maybe a two 2XL, maybe an extra large. This is a Switzerland RL polo team. And then it is reversible. This side is more of like a quilted. And then on this side, it's more of like a plain black. But I'm looking for the size tag. Oh, here it is. Polo Ralph Lauren size extra large. Reversible jacket, probably like $50. Really good piece right there. We have the other Jordan 3 shoe. Oh man, the uh, the top has like a chip out of the top right there. I don't remember the other one having that. Oh, there's like a chip out of the top. That's just like a $20 flaw. Now they're 80 bucks, maybe even 70. Might have Happened during shipping too, so I don't know. Cost of business. Next, we have a Polo Ralph Lauren custom fit, and it got the small pony, but the color blocking is just so dope. We got the green, blue, and orange. Next, we have a hoodie, it looks like. True religion hoodie. Oh, it looks like a guitar with like a boat, maybe. It says 2XL, but it looks more like a, maybe an extra large. I don't remember who told me, or if it's just like a rumor, but I remember someone saying, oh, here's the other pair of those polo pants. I remember someone telling me that True Religion went bankrupt, and it's not really worth reselling now, but I don't know, maybe it is still next we have the uniqlo cause peanuts collab and it has like an embroidered little snoopy on the front and this is size extra large i think i saw the crew necks going for about 25 bucks and i'm pretty sure there's another piece in here that is another cause piece next we have a polo jeans co spell out t-shirt i usually get like 20 bucks for these with the flag and the spell out. There's just so much stuff in this box. We have the North Face, I would say maybe size large, this is size medium, a men's size medium. Got like the fleece sleeves and then like the fleece bottom. And then this part right here is like more of like a nylon material. Yeah, I get like $30 for those usually, maybe like 40 bucks. I'm usually pretty fair with my prices on stuff like the North Face and like the Nautica, anything Polo Ralph Lauren. If I see someone else selling one for like $29.99, I'll charge $27.99 or $24.99. Oh yeah, these are pretty dope. We got the Polo Sport Ralph Lauren sweatpants and these are size extra large. He actually has a pair of P-Wing Polo Ralph Lauren track pants but they're just not my size. If they were size large, medium, I would have copped them for sure. They are so fire. He was charging like 160. I know that sounds like a lot to you guys, but the P-Wing is just super rare. Let's see what else we got here. We got the Patagonia, it looks like, and I don't find Patagonia too often. This is a men's large, and it's more of like a nylon jacket. Before I tell you how much I think I'm gonna get for it, I'll tell you guys that it does have a healthcare embroidery, which does bring the, down the value a little bit. So maybe someone could take out that embroidery. I think I could still get about 25, 30 bucks for it. All right guys, just had to take a break get some more water blow my nose etc so it looks like we still have probably another like 15 pieces left in this box and this is size extra large polo ruffler and custom fit we have the long sleeve oh it's really dope so we have like the rl67 embroidered on the front yellow stains right back here so i'll have to get those out in the wash really dope probably get like Maybe $30 for this piece. The long sleeve ones do pretty good, especially with the custom fit. Next, we have some type of Tommy Hill figure. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is size extra, extra large. We got the Tommy Hill figure with the big flag. It's new age, but still really dope. Probably like 25 bucks on that piece. Oh, that's kind of cool. We got the Polo Ralph Lauren. It's pretty big. This will definitely fit into a padded fly right envelope. Got like the denim zip up jacket and it's Polo Ralph Lauren. You got the red pony right there on the front and this is size 2XL. It's so hard to talk for more than like a minute without having to take a drink of water. Maybe I should just do like a silent video where I don't talk. We got like ASMR unboxing. We gotta probably get like $30 for that. We have a Looks like Jordan backpack. Jordan's kind of peeling off right there. It's another throw-in item. Make sure there's not anything inside the bag. But yeah, it's kind of cool. You got like the Jordan face. This definitely wasn't in the pictures. We got a size large. And again, it says large 12 to 14. So I'm pretty sure this is women's also. We have the vintage Nike windbreaker. Yeah, this would definitely fit an adult large too. But I'm pretty sure this is women's. Oh, look at the back of this bad boy. Got the spell out with the swoosh. Just the color on this bad boy is so sick. Got like the half zip pullover windbreaker. Probably like $40 on this piece, even though it's a women's piece. Looks like champion gym shorts with the spell out. I usually pay like $2 for these at the thrift store and sell them for about 20. So maybe I'll say I spent three or four. We have the other cause 
Uniqlo, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Peanut Crew Neck, and he's riding a skateboard in this one. It looks like it does have a little bit of wear, but maybe another 25 bucks on that Crew Neck. I know probably the retail on that was probably like $40. I'm sure they dropped a lot. We have some Levi's workwear, and these honestly look like some type of railroad pants. And that, that's like what it reminds me of. An interesting colorway on that. <coughs> Oh man, I'm dying over here guys. I need to finish this box. Jeez, we got the Columbia jacket. This is men's size extra large Columbia sportswear. Got the pretty cool nylon, the purple, aqua, black. Pretty dope. Maybe like 30 bucks on that piece, maybe a little bit more. Then we have a t-shirt, and this is a Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt. Oh, it's a bootleg Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt. It's actually on both sides. We got the Hanes tag, size extra large. This one I'll definitely keep, because I can't sell this on eBay. And it's got Hilfiger Athletic on both sides. I mean, I probably could sell it for like 20 bucks, but probably just keep it. We got a North Face t-shirt, and this is size extra large or extra, extra large. Right here, a little bit distressed and worn on the graphic, but it's like a gray with the yellow, the North Face. Three more pieces. We have a Tommy Hilfiger jersey size medium and I've never seen something like this before it might be a kids definitely doesn't look like a men's size honestly it looks like a kids medium so that's still pretty dope maybe like $25 we got Chase Authentics driver line size extra large and we got the DuPont is that what it says DuPont Fritos Pepsi NASCAR jersey and I got the flames on the sleeves right there pretty sick maybe like 25 30 bucks on that piece and then we got one more t-shirt and the last item is a Christian Dior polo. We got Dior on the pocket and this is size medium. So a lot of small items in this box. This box was really awesome for 250 bucks. Make sure you guys go follow flavors.atl on Instagram. Go shoot him a message. Ask him if he has any stuff for sale. He sells stuff bulk or individually. He posts fire items all the time. He actually has a pair of P-Wing track pants that I mentioned earlier in the video that I really want but they're size extra large and I can't wear those. My waist is mainly just like a medium to large, but they're super fire. Polo Ralph Lauren, made in USA. I am so jealous that he found those. Make sure you guys go smash the thumbs up button. Go show some love to my boy, flavors.atl. Make sure you guys become a subscriber and have a nice day. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.